Hi everyone, Nick here from TV Box Top, and welcome to today's review of a mini wireless touchpad keyboard called the MT08. And thanks goes out to the guys over at Banggood.com for sending this one for review. And you can get this keyboard along with hundreds of other great products at reasonable prices at their online store. So be sure to check them out. See the link in the description below this video. And with that said, let's open the box and take a look at the keyboard. So in the box, you have the keyboard itself. You get a micro USB charging cable and a user's manual. And now I'll look at its design and button configuration. The entire keyboard is made of plastic and it comes in a standard black color. To the front, you have a full quality keyboard with a number of shortcut buttons such as a button to quickly access your email. You have a mute button here. These two buttons here are your mouse left click and right click buttons. You have a home button, an internet explorer shortcut button, and you have a search button. To the center of the keyboard, here you have a trackpad. And to the left here, you have your up and down volume controls and you have your media player controls. On the opposite side, you have your direction pad and an OK button at the center. To the top left and right trigger buttons, the on off switch and the micro USB charging port. To the back, you have the compartment that houses the rechargeable battery and a slot for the wireless receiver dongle. They were also intuitive enough to include the option to use AAA batteries in the event that you cannot recharge the rechargeable battery or if it fails. So I will close this and I'll now connect this to a TV box and do a buttons and function test. So to start using the MT08, you first have to connect the wireless receiver dongle to your device. In my case, it's a TV box and it's plug and play. So there's no configuration needed. And you just turn it on using the on off switch and you're ready to go. Before you start using the keyboard, you would want to select your desired backlight color. To do this, you simply press the function button, which is this one here, and it will activate all the buttons with the blue markings on them. And the RGB light function button is this one below here. You simply keep clicking on it to cycle through the various colors and select the one you like. You can even deactivate it if you don't like the backlight feature. So to begin, I'll first check the D-pad function. Okay, and that works okay. Uh, the OK button. Okay, that also works. Uh, to go back to the home screen, you can either use the right click mouse button or you can use the home button. I'll use the right click mouse button. And that works. Uh, let's check the trackpad. Okay, that it's quite responsive. And let's check the a double tap button. So you have double tap. You can also use the left click mouse button. And let's go back again. I'll use the home button this time. So that works. Okay, let's open up Internet Explorer. Okay, let's check okay so that works 
let's check the volume control buttons okay that also works the mute button okay, that works let's attempt the media player buttons Okay, pause and Okay, so you have trigger buttons here for playing games, so we'll try that now. So even though I managed to play a game, I was unable to get it to play on its own. I had to use a key mapping app for it to interface with the games. And I tried the most simplest of games like Beach Buggy and it was unable to play it. So if you intend on playing games with this keyboard, you will need a key mapping app. So viewers, there you have it. This was a short review of the MT-08 Mini Wireless Touchpad Keyboard. If you would like to get this keyboard, see the link in the description below this video. Give this video the thumbs up if you enjoyed the short presentation and click the subscribe button and the notifications bell to be notified via email when I release a new video or do a giveaway. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.